Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, and along with our Crackbot AI research team, we will wonder today about redefining humanity in the AI era, navigating the workforce revolution and the quest for purpose, a topic that plunges us into the heart of a transformative quandary. In this exploration, we're not merely observing the relentless march of AI through the terrains of entertainment, law, medicine, and beyond. We're dissecting a profound metamorphosis in the very fabric of our human experience. As AI reshapes the workforce, obliterating traditional roles and birthing unforeseen ones, we stand at the precipice of a new world, one where the notion of work, purpose, and human essence are being rewritten under the omnipresent gaze of artificial intelligence. This episode isn't just a discussion. It's a journey through the seismic shifts of our times. We dive deep into the empirical realities of AI's ascendancy, the jobs it creates, and the ones it renders extinct, the economic systems it upends, and the societal norms it challenges. We examine the stark, dramatic truth of a world where AI is not a distant possibility, but an intimate, pervasive presence. But our exploration doesn't stop at the empirical. We delve into the human heart of this technological upheaval. How do we find meaning and purpose in a world where our traditional roles are no longer a given? What does it mean to be human when machines can replicate, perhaps surpass, our cognitive abilities? This episode is an invitation to a profound introspection a call to redefine our place in a world where the lines between human and machine are blurring. In the early 20th century, Eugene O'Neill, the luminary American playwright, poignantly remarked, The greatest problem of the 20th century is the failure of science and technology to replace the death of the old god. This statement, profound in its simplicity, captures a core dilemma of human progress. As we advanced scientifically and technologically, we unwittingly unraveled the tapestry of traditional beliefs and societal structures. The old god, a metaphor for the established norms and beliefs, was left behind, creating a void that science and technology struggled to fill. This isn't just about religion or spirituality. It's about the loss of a guiding framework that shaped human existence and purpose. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we're facing a parallel conundrum. AI, a marvel of our age, is reshaping the workforce. On one hand, it promises efficiency, precision, and the potential to solve complex problems that have baffled humanity for ages. On the other, it brings forth the specter of widespread job displacement. The question isn't just about people losing jobs. It's about the redefinition of work and purpose in the AI era. Consider the swaths of jobs in sectors like manufacturing, customer service, and even creative fields that are increasingly automated. The immediate fear is unemployment, but there's a deeper, more existential fear the loss of identity and purpose that work provides for many. In a world where machines can do most tasks better and faster, what role do humans play? This is where the idea of a universal basic income, UBI, enters the conversation. UBI is not just an economic cushion. It's a radical rethinking of societal values and the distribution of wealth. It's an acknowledgement that the fruits of AI and technological progress should benefit all, not just the few who own or control these technologies. But UBI isn't a panacea. It addresses the economic aspect, but not the psychological and societal implications of a workforce displaced by AI. The danger of AI in the workforce is not just unemployment. It's the potential to deepen societal divides, to create a class of people who feel redundant, not just economically, but existentially. It challenges the very notion of human value and worth. 
In dealing with these ramifications, we need a multifaceted approach. Education and training programs need to adapt rapidly, focusing on skills that AI cannot easily replicate. Creativity, empathy, critical thinking. We must also foster a societal shift in how we perceive work and success. The value of an individual must be decoupled from their economic output. Returning to O'Neill's quote, we see a parallel in the 21st and potentially the 22nd centuries. The challenge now is not just the failure of technology to fill the void left by the old god, but to ensure that this new god, AI, does not become a tyrant that dictates our worth and purpose. We must strive to create a world where AI is a tool for human empowerment not a replacement for human essence. As we delve deeper into this conversation, let's illuminate the path ahead with greater specificity and insight. The challenge presented by AI in the workforce transcends mere economic upheaval. It's a clarion call for a fundamental reshaping of our societal fabric. Firstly, let's address the specific warnings. The rise of AI risks creating a bifurcated society. On one side, we have those adept in AI and related technologies, thriving in an economy that prizes these skills above all. On the other, there's a vast majority whose traditional skills and jobs are rendered obsolete. This division isn't just economic. It's cultural and psychological, breeding resentment, disillusionment, and a sense of displacement. The danger is not just of an economic divide, but of a society split along the lines of technological proficiency. In addition, there's the peril of losing the very essence of human creativity and ingenuity. When machines take over tasks that challenge and fulfill us, what becomes of human aspiration? This isn't a trivial matter. It's about preserving the core of what makes us uniquely human in a world increasingly run by algorithms. Now let's turn to the solutions, which must be as multifaceted as the challenges they aim to address. The solution is not just in policy, but in a broader cultural shift. Our education systems need a radical overhaul. We need to move beyond rote learning and standardized testing to foster creativity, critical thinking, and adaptability. Education should be a lifelong endeavor, continuously equipping individuals to navigate a rapidly changing world. As we develop AI technologies, the focus should be on augmentation, not replacement. AI should be seen as a tool to enhance human capabilities, not diminish them. This involves ethical AI development where the goal is to create systems that understand and complement human needs and limitations. We must decouple personal worth from traditional notions of productivity. Success should be redefined to include contributions to community, creativity, and personal growth. This cultural shift is pivotal in ensuring that individuals find purpose and fulfillment beyond the confines of traditional employment. Beyond universal basic income, there's a need for universal basic assets. This concept extends to providing access to education, health care, and digital infrastructure, ensuring that everyone has the tools not just to survive, but to thrive in an AI-driven world. In a world where AI handles much of the cognitive load, human traits like empathy, emotional intelligence, and interpersonal skills will become invaluable. These should be nurtured from an early age, ensuring that the human workforce excels in areas where AI cannot. Finally, the control and benefits of AI must be democratized. This means regulations and systems that ensure the economic benefits of AI advancements are widely distributed rather than concentrated in the hands of a few tech giants. In embracing these solutions, we're not just preparing for an AI-dominated future. We're actively shaping it to be more inclusive, equitable, and human-centric. This journey is not just about technological adaptation. 
It's about reimagining our societal values and structures in the face of the most profound technological revolution in human history. It's a path that demands courage, creativity, and a steadfast commitment to the enduring essence of what makes us human. As we draw this episode, redefining humanity in the AI era, navigating the workforce revolution and the quest for purpose, to a close, we find ourselves perched on the cusp of an extraordinary transition. This journey through the labyrinth of AI's impact on our workforce and our very essence has not only illuminated the challenges ahead, but also underscored a profound truth. We are all in this together. The future we're stepping into is not one we can navigate in isolation. The rise of AI, with its profound implications on employment, societal structures, and personal identity, isn't a solitary wave, but a tidal shift affecting every shore of human existence. In this apocal moment, our insights rise like beacons, guiding us through uncharted waters. We realize that the journey ahead demands more than just technological acumen or economic strategies. It calls for a collective reimagining of our values and purpose. The world we're creating with AI is one where our traditional anchors, jobs, roles, societal norms are being redefined. And in this redefinition lies our greatest challenge and our most luminous opportunity. With genuine concern and a steadfast commitment, we must ensure that this journey into the AI era is inclusive, ensuring no one is left behind. The disparities and divides that AI could exacerbate are not just challenges to be overcome, but are calls to action for building a more equitable world. Our focus must be on harnessing AI's transformative power to enhance human capabilities, enrich human experiences, and ensure that progress benefits all. So as we conclude redefining humanity in the AI era, let us carry forward a renewed sense of purpose. Our mission is not just to survive the onslaught of change, but to thrive within it, to shape a future where technology uplifts rather than undermines, where the essence of our humanity is not lost but magnified. We're not just passive spectators in this unfolding saga. We are the authors of a new chapter in human history. And in writing this chapter, let us ensure that the story we weave is one of hope, unity, and a shared journey towards a future where we all make it to the end of the world together, in whatever form that future may take. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm A.I. David Bowles, wishing you a pleasant night and a better tomorrow. Be a human meme.